All right, all right, we're back. Let's uh, let's clear out our inventory a little bit or see what's up. Um, oh, oh, okay. Ruined. So, God, I don't know if I can pull this out after the fact. So, do I want to put this in there? It's the only one I have. Screw it. Oh, I can. Okay, so good, 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 good. <laughs> Can I read this? No. Just kill three reindeer and bring the antlers back to her. Alright, so let's go reach Volka. Up there. Some amount. Okay. Or there's a quick action wheel. An exact, an exact replica of the mount I'm looking at right there. Fun. Can't go through that gate, but through here. Hey nice. All right, so where am I headed? Up here, so let's actually, while we're trekking through the ice and snow, Grab this. And we're gonna get that synchronization <laughs> point. Hopefully I can spot a deer or two out here. Horse. No. Jump off. I'll be the one to find it. Just you wait and see. Um what? <gasps> Everything it good down here, mate? Here somewhere. What are they looking for? I think there are some spots you missed. What are these men Nobody's hunting for? Find my coat. Whoever finds it wins an evening of my company. Care to okay. join them? Uh, be bold of breath. Well, do not, uh, do not wall in the mud. Find me by the rush water. Okay. Screw it, why not? I'll be the one to find it. Just you wait and see. Too cold. My blood. There it is. I think it's down there. Right, so let's uh let's not freeze to death for a second. Let's give it a moment and back down. But I just didn't I just see it? Oh. Is it all the way down at the bottom? There it is. Oak antler cone, lovely. Probably a nice piece of finery too. And let's not freeze to death. Turn to ice if I stay here. Hello, hello. I think this is yours. Halt in your search. A winner and my comb have been found. Now, the price for finding my comb is some of my time. A walk in nature may be more if that is where our conversation takes us. I see. Lead on. Sounds You're good to me. You are different than the kind my flight so fancy attracts. Burdened, decorated, and delicate. Delicate? The others, they are like clubs, blunt and ungainly. You are nimble, 
like a knife. Are you so in need of suitors that any passing woodsman or vikinger will do? I was married once. My Alfie died five winters back. Ours was a perfect marriage. I do not need another. But am I to go the rest of my days without love or attention? I think not. And Makes the sense. Could be a comb, could be a brooch, or an arm ring. So long as it's lost, and to be found by a helping hand. <laughs> Any good tales come of this? Once I thought the same man had stumbled across me three times. Gave me a fright. <laughs> Turned out to be triplets. Wow. If this comb is worth nothing to you, what shall I do with it? You could keep it. Comb your hair. Or... I could comb it if you like. Comb my hair? Is that why those men scrambled over each other? I could do more than comb your hair. Find all your nuts and snags and oh. tame them. If you'd like. My shoulders are tense and my hair is a tangle. I could use a softer touch for these kinks. Then let me. Mmm, delicate touch. Indelicate voice. This was fun, Eivor. Hold on to the comb, as a keepsake. Thank you, Beale. You tamed some nuts I haven't been able to reach myself. All right, that's a great little side mission. Unfortunately, we came out over here for some materials or no mysteries. Oh, that was the mystery. There is a piece of wealth nearby. Perhaps we can find it. Probably up there all the way, which is fine. We can climb up. Nice to have a mountain climb once in a while. Pure bare fisted in the cold air. Oh no. Oh god. Can I climb up there? Yes. What is it on that cliff? <laughs> Up we go. It's a good thing there's a lot of ledges that we can at least launch ourselves off of. Obsidian. What is this right here? Got some iron ore out of it. Good for improving our stuff. Uh, I think I found the comb. Wait, this is a jawbone. <laughs> They're still looking. On the other side? Sweet, didn't know I could do that. Oh, it must, it must, yeah, it's down. I'm not going after that. We'll, we'll get that later. Though, do we want to hit the mystery of the well? Let's hit the mystery over here. <laughs> Cloak? Well, that looks nice. That looks very nice. 
What's this? Up. Oh. Did we pass it? Is it in a cave or something? It's 46 is the death. It's gotta be down. <laughs> ah! Wow, that actually hurt. Hold on. I've got multiple things selected, which I didn't know you could do. Vinny Craig? Can I not? There we go. looking for in here. Well, let's let's see what's over here first before I continue. Oh. If you come looking for bears, there are none living here. Not now. But I have a better proposition than a rousing hunt. If you are a true Drenger, a warrior with honor running like sunlight in your veins, then you may help me fulfill my destiny. Okay. You're a long way from any warm hearth, warrior. Is this where you call home? My name is Eric Loyalskull. The great King Ragnar Lothbrok named me such. When we fought tearing up the fields of England, we built families. Overthrew kingdoms, sailed mountains, fought for whole seasons. Now, now he is gone. All of Norway laments the passing of King Ragnar. I cannot imagine the sorrow his warriors now feel. We are but six who remain, his most loyal Drengir. Yet without his guiding light, his strength and vision, we are lost. It was in this cavern that I knew my life was tied to Ragnar's. We were young, hunting a bear when we chanced upon this spot. He killed it with nothing but a knife, leapt on its back, held tight, writhing like a fly on a dragon. He stayed put, and it was done. Peace. Together we celebrated the kill, as if we had felled the beast together. That is when I knew I would live and die for this man. I did not die beside my lord in Ali's pit of snakes. But I can make amends. Fight me, warrior. Send me to meet him in Odin's hall. Oh my god. How high level is he? How high level is he? There's a skull there! I must wait for the ideal time to fight such a warrior of your class, Drenge. Have patience. I will wait. Is there a... Does this tell me? Sug the whole area suggested power level is one, so I'm sure I could do it, maybe? Oh, let's try skills. Let's see what it does after skills. <laughs> Node types. Okay, so there are stat nodes and main skills. Global power. We got like four or had four. Melee resistance. Stealth. Ranged. Um, let's. Yeah, let's focus a little bit on that. Please right, what does it do now? Indulge me with the honor of my death. Alright, hold on. I must wait for the ideal time to fight such a warrior of your class, Drenge. Have patience. I will wait. Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna... 
how do I do it? Save. And we're gonna try. Please indulge me with the honor of It is with great honor I will fight a true Drenger when you're ready. Very well. For Ragnar Lothbrook, the true king of Norway. For Ragnar, for glory, for the wandering Drengir, do I raise my blade. Oh, Jesus Christ! Hold on. Your okay. time's up! He, no, he's... He's real good. I shouldn't have done this. I can't believe you've done this. My god. So definitely coming back later if I can. And you can fight in your cloak. I love that. I love that. It's like they took what I wanted and just knew I wanted it. It's like they read my mind. Is there anything else in here though? No? Okay, so we're gonna leave him be. He knows we're coming back eventually. This is gorgeous! Deadly cold. Yeah, yeah, I know. Ah, plant for the vulva. Can I not? There we go. Up a little bit. Oh no! I don't wanna Okay, fine, fine. Too cold. My blood freezes. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh my god. Dive. Alright, so we're gonna go back the way we can. Turn to ice if I stay here. No, go over. Over Ivor. Eivor. Eivor, Eivor, doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, he set up a nice little home here. Get a hammer and some wood and you can actually, like, build a nice home. Build you some chairs, a table, like an in-cave longhouse. Down, down, that was an accident. Okay. Out in the cold we go and then goes on the cloak. Because that's what cloaks are literally for. Give those. Alright, so where am I headed? Over here, then to the synchronization point. And then off to Vulcan. Was that? Okay. Free iron. It should be right around here. Thank you. 
Location discovered, a drift refuge. Where, where is it? Where is that wealth? Somewhere close by, down a little bit. Where to go? I'm almost right on top of it. Is it also down and in some cave? Or maybe just over here. All right. Um can I can I back eject? <gasps> Far and no, I might, might not be doing. Oh, there we go. That's good. Yes. Let's uh, climb up here. Oh god, my horse! <laughs> Just like Roach all over the place. Sorry, horse. I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to call you back. Is that better? Are you free? There you go. Good boy. Or girl. I don't know. Red Dead was the only one to actually specify horse genitals. <laughs> Still haven't seen any reindeer out here. Down we go. Climb up, get the sink point, and hit on the Volca. there. <sighs> Assassin's Creed game is giving you heart attack since 2009. Alright. No, like hay bale or bale of snow or water. So we can just ah, we can just climb down relatively okay. All right, mount up. Yeah, off to see Volca. A mystery quite nearby too. Okay, so it's hold O to dismount. 
So Ivan is asleep on his watch. That would explain some things. Well, let's loot his shit first. Hey. Ivan! Wake up, or you'll be cast into the wild. Must stay awake. Go home. They could be anywhere. Go home. What if Kjotve came here? You'd be dead. Is he walking in his sleep? Do I... Do I follow him? They are everywhere. If we die, yeah, it'll be fine. Dies. Look at that. That seems like Volka's hut over there. I think. I think it was on this level of ground. Onward! Wait a minute. Hello? I need a white cloak to blend in with the snow. There we go. It's the only reindeer I've seen. Alright, here we go. With the cloak. Put some rations. Hamuram. Hamuram. Volka? Silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... Uh, I have come for your advice. On a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come. But she has me. Now... Let her speak to your needs. I... I have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust, or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf, howling and fierce. And then a figure. A gray beard in the cloak, with a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the High One. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you, deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. Uh, what do you brew? Tell no one else. Have you done this before? Of course she has. 
What are you brewing? An elixir to loosen your hugur and unwind your thoughts. You will enter a waking sleep and journey to the world of dreams. It may confuse or disorient you, but you must take note of all you see. Drink. If you seek true understanding. Okay, shit, visions of the gods, let's go! I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Harvey! Harvey. Harvey! Do I walk among the dead? Sigurd. And Sigurd! <coughs> Brother! When did you arrive? that wolf again. And a set of gates. the way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Take it! was not for you, Javi. <laughs> Holy shit, was that Fenrir? Volka, you got some explaining to do. Eivor. It is Valka. I am here. God, I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I... I was on a mountain, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a wolf. Mm-hmm. Odin and Anonir. Nornir uh, beckoned me, and Hall appeared to me. I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of slain champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. <coughs> I saw Odin, 
and the Nornir <laughs> spinning the threats of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. And the wolf? And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the Wolfkist, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition, or your fear. I do not know what else to say. My memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I woke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No, this is wrong, or you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. Well, at least she's confident about it, but... Eivor doesn't like it. And it will probably surely cause problems. Okay, we can fast travel back to the settlement. But is there um, anything else out there that we should... Yeah, we can get these in a bit. Let's go home. Oh shit, okay. Distrust areas wearing a cloak. Allows you to blending. Oh, it's for blending! Nice! <coughs> nice! I just thought it was cosmetic, but fuck, that's good. So I wonder, can I just do single weapon and that's it? No shield? Like, let me check. Let me see. Oh, I do have skills I should use or take advantage of. So if I just unequipped this. Oh god, I could. How would I uh block with my arm and punch? Okay. And we'll try it out eventually, but let's stick to shield to be safe. And skills time. Alright, so range. What is this? Choir. What is this? Uh two five point two to health. Lovely. We got two skills. So heavy damage and stomp, Jesus. Let's get the health increase. Oops. What is this? Way of the wolf. Wait, gives bonus. With all aligned wolf gear, we don't have any wolf gear, I don't think. Headshot, stealth recon, automatically highlighted enemies when crouched in under. Okay. We have the Raven. We can benefit from that right now. Did we not get this? We didn't. And what is this? Landing a blow directly on the enemy's back will inflict increased damage. Okay, so we're gonna start trying to go this way. What's up, girl? He ready? They must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. 
All right, let's I'm go. I'm ready to face the thunder. I'll speak with the king now. Excellent, King Stierbjorn. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Greetings? Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. Do we have any allies? Do we have any allies to speak of? Or is that your excuse to do nothing? Your confidence blinds you to so much in plain sight, Eivor. Day and night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then will you understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! Oh, thank God, it's not another attack. <laughs> Let's go see him. <sighs> hey, hey, careful with that one. Avon! Seagate! Ha ha! Ah, look at you, blood soaked drinker! Oh, have you been warring without me? Ah, oh, and you, Solkjord Vikinger. <laughs> I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. It's just the start. <laughs> Randvi, my dear wife, your husband returns, bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes. Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagat, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation, and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him, he must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. He's brought assassins with him. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the Wolf Kist was captured by Kjotve's men. They must have cut the tail short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. For that your father scolded me. Hmm. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kjotve from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. 
I promise you. By the winter's end, the name Kurt with the Cruel will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. Sounds good to me. My son, welcome home. Uh, father. Tonight we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kyotve and his clan, and how we may end their terror once and for all. He has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. Right. Just that nod she gave him was up, fool. <laughs> Through Rusland we barreled down the Volga River, raiding as we went, shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. You went to but Russia? Miklagard, we saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Biverest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned, with riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes for Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. This man went all over the world in two years. Oh, he's going this way. <laughs> Can I talk to this assassin? You are Basim. You have a good memory. And you have no mead. Can I fix that? Sigurd spoke often of you on our journey. Called you his right arm. A celebrated warrior. I am honored to meet you. Likewise, Basim. And how did you come to meet my brother? He sat down in Constantinople some months ago to rest and resupply, he told me. But I knew otherwise. Men with eyes that gleam like his are always up to something more. I think he wished to raid the Hajj of Sophia. That <laughs> sounds right. I will not bore you with the details of her meeting. But I liked your brother from the first. I saw something in him that captivated me. As if a forgotten memory of an old friendship had suddenly resurfaced. He has that effect on people. Enjoy your evening, Basim. Oh shit, that's right. He's not Muslim, he's Byzantine. Mm, that... fuck. I just thought about that. Holy shit. I... I'm like, he's not drinking probably because he's Muslim, but no, he's a Byzantine, because this is... This is the age of Vikings. I thought long and hard on a gift worthy of you. You have snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. To my first night in Thornburg in over two winters, it must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you on these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringur. Now drink. <laughs> oh, you would put Thor to shame. Should have gone easy on you. Uh, you make everything a challenge. This is strong stuff. Forgive me. On your first day back, I should have let you win. <laughs> Gods, you should have let me start. It is good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basim, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. 
And it was then I felt a hard longing to return at once. Come. This brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. Oh. They are a clan, not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now... I gift one of these secrets to you. Weapon for the finest warrior I know. Yes! Beautiful craftsmanship. What kind of smith makes a weapon like this? It is less a weapon than a tool. One we have used for centuries to fight injustice and evil. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist plate is a sacred Do tool. Do not make a fetish out of cold metal, Haifam. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. The blade should ride on the underside of your arm, to conceal it from your target. I have no wish to hide this, and I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. Mm. I like it. This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to... A good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside. This is not something for all eyes. Lead on. Got a hidden blade now. Lovely. Can I use it as a separate weapon or... Or is it just like how it was in Odyssey? Or not Odyssey, um... This clan of Origin. yours it has a name. Indeed. But among the tenants of our creed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more, but not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Here, let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Okay. Wielded with skill and care, our blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. Oh, you gotta love the basic Assassin's Creed, uh, training montages. I not montage, but still. So sharp. Some targets are trickier than others. Keep that in mind before you strike. Okay. A decent attempt. Ledge. Take that one down from the ledge. Up we go. Up, down, down. And down he goes. How about a challenge? Leap down upon that target from above. I can do that. It's called Nair Assassination. That's it. Use your surroundings when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. Exactly, just like that. Um, what else? What else? There's one over here. Mentor, does Eivor intend to join us? Not that I am aware. Then why offer her the blade? Surely we have more. I... Hush. A perfect strike. You wield the blade well. Let us leave Eivor to enjoy her gift in peace. Come. Eivor, let us walk to the docks and take in the night air. Lead on. What do you make of my new friends? They seem generous and menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. And they have learning, too. They wield numbers and writing as if it were magic. Basim has shown me so much about the world, all of which I will share with you when the time is right. Sounds good. 
And since he's part of the Abbasid Caliphate, he's probably in the heart of innovation when it comes to things like calculus and fucking God. Oh, I miss the smell of this land. Have you returned for good? Or do you mean to join this Shadow Brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Ivor. Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship. Our clan. Our glory. I missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. <laughs> you flatter me, wolf kissed. Keep it up. <laughs> From here to Valhalla, I will always be at your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures, ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, we make new war on Kyrtve. ...and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there... ...we build a kingdom... ...for us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest... ...and return here at first light. And that was the Prodigal Prince! Excellent! Conquering all of the North sounds great to me. The Nordnir have spoken. You will betray Sigurd. No, this is wrong. That cannot be right. Ah! Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. Ah! You will betray Sigurd. What the hell? Shit. Chodvis warriors. This one would not have come alone. I should find the others. There are others? Okay, let's go find them. Rations are full. Good on. Have you seen anything suspicious? Welcome back, Wolfkist. Oh, okay. That is all I need for now. Fine. See you later. Find Kyotve's spies. Where is that at? That way. Let's get up here for a vantage point. And then we'll call in Sunin. Go. My eyes. There. What the hell? Oh, God, that's photo mode. <laughs> I just accidentally held the sticks, the sticks down. <laughs> Up here. We should return to not fall with our report while we can. Not, not concerned about your buddy going silent there. Pull back up. Down we go. I 
have no need of whistling at the moment. Sigurd must know about this. Okay. Talk to Sigurd. And we're gonna fast travel back, cause this is urgent as hell. You know, it said, um, it said that, uh, wait, wait. Oh, shit, I knows. speak as your king, Sigurd, not your father. Heed my warnings or be off. Oh, shit. Large shit. Grande shit. We do not have the men to storm Kjotve's fortress. The losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, father. Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has already polluted our waters. God save her. What happened? Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Chotve to kill us as we slept. I returned the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. We must answer this insult. They came from Notfall, that wailing village under Chotve's control. We hid him there. Burn it down before Kyotve learns his spies are dead. He may have sent more. I can search the village while you round up the crew. No need. I will send Hytham to search the area. You can rely on him while we are away. Thank you. We? Do you mean to join us? I have not been bred for Valhalla like you. But this will be far from my first battle. I do not like this, but I will not stop you. Sigurd is pissed. Do not lead my son into the same storm that follows you. This isn't my fault. All right, boys, we good to go? Off. Off we go. I think we have to row out of here before we can uh, get full sail. Warriors, bring it. The sail up. When I was away, far from these frozen shores, wondering if I should ever see home again. I grew afraid. Afraid I would not return in time to see Kurtwes end. Afraid I would not see him bleed out like a stuck pig in a drift of snow. But here I am, home in time to join those I have missed, those I love, in this glorious fight. Today we seize Nochtfall from Kurtwe. Tonight his heart will pulse with... Oh, shit. It will burst from fear. He will beseech the gods for aid, for they will be deaf to his cries. And soon, the Raven Clan will feast on his death. You know these isles best, Wolfkist. Lead us to victory. I will show the way, but you must lead us there. Oh, Eivor, I missed having you at my side. How I wished I could have taken you along on my travels. Stevjorn did not trust fate with both our lives. He have no reason to fear. Together, we are unstoppable. And there it is. We're bearing down on it. Let's burn the place to the ground.
is. Find the archers and take them out. Supply wagons. We should destroy them. Shit. Oh god. New leather. God, ever since. Oh no. no. Ever since um. What was it? Origin, I think? Fire has just been extremely powerful. Alright, uh, he's gonna burn to death. There we go. Throw an axe at him. Shoot. Uh, Is that up? Uh, okay, no it's on fire. Let the and ask me a warning. Ships are coming. Oh shit! A retaliation. Let's um. Must be blocked from the other side. Bard, that's fine. Is there any, uh... Is there any wealth on the island? Or not island, but in here. That's Bard. Wait a minute. I'll go back to the front and help them out after I get this. And the other pieces of what? What is this? Collect Book of Knowledge. Throwing Axe Fury? Abilities are learned through books of knowledge. They are powerful fi fighting moves that can be used during battle at the cost of adrenaline. Oh, I can hold eight of these. Lovely! Um. Okay. The real question is how do I use it? Do I. Oh, wait a minute. Full. Let's loot all the rest of the wealth in here before we have to book it and get the hell out. We'll leave this place rich and covered in blood. Uh, what's next? One down there, and the other right across from it. Have the ships not landed yet? It's not here. Unless I have to go in through the back, maybe. I do! But down! Hey, boy! Avor through here. Thank you. In a burning hut trying to get as much money. Oh, runes. Yes! Get as much silver and things I can sell. Clan, you reap a bloody harvest. 
Who are you, Gester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthorm, uncle to King Harold of the North. I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harold. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you, oh. at the request of your father. Oh. The canny wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven Clan can take Kjotve's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The Wandering King will tip our fortunes. You have a common cause. We don't need your men. What's in it for you? Why risk your men to help us, King? Have you a stake in this fight? This war between Ketwe's clan and your own has long simmered on my southern border. I wish to see it put to rest. There would be no peace while Ketwe lives. But there is much agreement between your father and me. This blood feud runs deep, King Harald. We welcome your help, but I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Ketwe broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Kjotve and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. Our men will gather at Florley, near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kjotve's head for the gods. Brother, good. I have waited too many years for this day. When Kjotve stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Eivor! Give us a hand! Harald is generous with his troops. More than I would I be. cannot fathom his game. He's either a young fool... ...or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason, I have a good feeling this war is near its end. Sounds good. I need to keep an eye on him, though. Kjotve is probably not the only threat here. Okay, so, I think when we return, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we will put Kjotve's head on a fucking spike and see what else the, uh, the North has for us. However you say that, I'm not gonna try to, I'm not gonna try to pronounce it, but we'll see what it has for us. So I thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, uh, drop me a follow on Twitch, or if you're watching this on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, all of that, you know, the good stuff. And I will see you all tomorrow with more AC Valhalla. See you.